Now that we've learned series and parallel combination circuits, it's time to replace the resistors that we've been using with light bulbs. Common test questions often ask you to order the brightness of a bulb in a given circuit. The key to ordering the brightness is to know what it depends upon. The brightness of a bulb depends upon its electrical power, which is the product of current and potential difference. It turns out you can use either current or potential difference reasoning when you're deciding which bulb is the brightest. In some circuits, it's easier to think current, and in some circuits, it's easier to think potential difference. In general, if your bulbs are in series, use potential difference reasoning, because if they're in series, they both get the same current, so current doesn't help you as a discerning factor between the two. As we know from the previous videos, if you have two things in series, the one with the higher resistance gets the greater potential difference drop, therefore would be the brighter bulb. If you have bulbs in parallel, you should use current reasoning, since both bulbs would have the same potential difference, that's one of our rules for a parallel circuit, so potential difference wouldn't help you discern between the two. When you're thinking current, the higher resistance always gets less current because current takes the path of least resistance. Therefore, the higher resistance bulb getting less current would be less bright. Remember, you can use either current or potential difference reasoning when deciding on bulb brightness. Let's take a look at a few simple cases, straight series and straight parallel before we get to series parallel combinations. Here's a circuit that's straight series. If we want to think about the brightness of these bulbs, uh, we have to think about electrical power, which is a product of current and potential difference. Since both of these bulbs will have the same current through them, because when items are in series, they both get the full current, therefore current can't help us discern between the two, so we need to think potential difference. Since here we have a 10 ohm resistor and a 10 ohm resistor, that would mean that they're going to get equal potential difference drops, therefore the brightness of the bulbs should be the same, which is what we see here with these yellow lines emanating out from the bulb. The length of the lines tells you how bright it is. Here you can see the two bulbs have equal brightness. What if we change the resistance of one of the bulbs? Well, in this next picture, we have two different resistance light bulbs. One is 10 ohms and one is 20 ohms. Again, since they're in series, we need to think potential difference because current can't help because current is the same for both of the bulbs. Both of these bulbs get the total circuit current. So we have a 10 ohm and a 20 ohm bulb. Which one is the brightest? Well, our qualitative rule for potential difference says when things are in series, the larger resistance bulb would get the larger potential difference drop. Therefore, since the 20 ohm bulb has a higher resistance, it will also have the higher potential difference drop. That would make the bulb brighter, and you can see here by looking at the yellow lines emanating out, that the bottom bulb, the 20 ohm bulb, is definitely brighter. Let's take a look at straight parallel. In parallel, both of the items would have the same potential difference, so it does us no good to think about potential difference. Instead, we have to think about current. We know current takes the path of least resistance, but here, both branches have an equal resistor. Each has a 10 ohm bulb. Therefore, the current will branch equally through the two branches. Since both branches, both branches have the same V and the same I, they will have the same power. Therefore, they must be of equal brightness. If you look at the lines, they are equally bright to each other. And notice they're also brighter than the series case because in parallel, uh, you're drawing more electrical energy out of the battery because each circuit is acting as though, each branch is acting as though it's its own circuit. What would happen if we changed one of these resistors? Why don't you think about that before we head to the next slide? All right, let's take a look. If we make the top branch 20 ohms and leave the bottom branch 10 ohms, again, we have to think current because potential difference can't help us because both branches in parallel have the same potential difference. So current takes the path of least resistance, so most of the current would take the bottom path, not because it's closer to the battery, but because it has less resistance. 
If more current goes that way, the bottom branch will have the greater power, meaning product of current and potential difference, therefore the greater brightness. You could note by the emanating yellow lines that the bottom bulb indeed has a greater brightness. All right, let's talk about series and parallel combinations. The best thing you could do when faced with a series parallel combo is try to look for a region of the circuit that if you collapse it, it would make it either a straight series or a straight parallel circuit. You'll notice this circuit in general is mostly series and it has a touch of parallel in this region. If we can break that parallel region and combine it into one resistor, we would then have a series circuit with three resistors. Well, when we try to replace two resistors in parallel, with an equivalent resistor, we could use our rule that would make this, this area, have 5 ohms of resistance. We now have three resistors in series, a 10, a 5, and a 10 ohm resistor. So let's think about the bulb brightness. Well, the rule says that we can't think about current because we've made it a series circuit. Therefore, all of these resistors, the two tens and our made up five ohm resistor would all technically get the same current. The only way to decide is with potential difference. The higher resistance bulbs will get the greater potential difference in series. Therefore, we expect the first and the last bulb to be the brightest and they should be equally bright. And over here, because it's only 5 ohms, we're going to get less potential difference drop at these. So they should have less of a brightness, but they should be equally bright to each other. Hopefully that reasoning makes sense. Let's check it out. You can see by looking at the yellow lines that the first and the last bulb are indeed the brightest. They both get the full current. And then here we have a branching of the current, so you expect them to be less bright. Notice that we thought both current and potential difference and managed to think this one out. This branching right here at the top guarantees that the current's going to split. Therefore, you're getting less current through each bulb. Therefore, uh, it'll be less bright than the others. All right. Let's think about the bulb brightness in this problem and how it compares to the previous problem. Notice what we've done is we've added one more light bulb out here to the right. The question would be not so much the order of the brightness because that really shouldn't change from before. The first and the last bulbs should be the brightest. And these three in the middle should all be tied with each other but less bright than the other two bulbs. That order hasn't changed from the previous problem. The question this time is, what's going to happen to the brightness of each of the bulbs? Each of the four original bulbs, bulb 1, bulb 2, bulb 3, and bulb 4. They had a particular brightness in the previous example, and we want to know, will they be brighter or less bright than before? How do we reason that out? Well. Again, this is mostly a series circuit with a little parallel action going on here in the middle. So what we're going to do is think of this region as being one resistor. If we can collapse that into one resistor, we would then have a series circuit with a 10, a 10, and what do we get when we put three 10 ohm resistors in parallel? We get three and a third ohms. Now, what will happen compared to the previous example? Well, since this is no longer a five, it's gone down to three and a third, this region is gonna get less potential difference than it used to, which means the first and the last bulb will each get a little bit more than it used to. So my prediction would be that this bulb will get brighter, this bulb will get brighter, and these in the middle dimmer and dimmer. And of course the new bulb will obviously get brighter because it wasn't even there before. Let's take a look and see how we did. 
compared to the previous example, the lines indicate that the first and the last bulbs got brighter, and the two inner bulbs, the ones that are in parallel, uh, got dimmer than they were before. Now, one final thing. Let's try to predict what's going to happen to the bulb brightness if we remove this bulb down here. Well, first we need to recall what the bulb brightness was in the first place. The first and the last bulbs, because they get the total current, were the brightest. And these two were dimmer and they were tied. Another way to reason that out is not just with the current branching, that's what helps to make them dimmer, but we can also think about this region, two tens in parallel, as being a single 5 ohm resistor. If we do that, we now have a 10, a 5, and a 10, and since in series there will be more potential difference loss at the larger resistors, that's why bulb 1 and the last bulb end up being the brightest, and the two parallel ones are tied, but they're dimmer. So what's going to happen? when we remove this bottom bulb from the circuit, but actually don't break the circuit, you have to reconnect down below. What's going to happen to the brightness of the top bulb and the two parallel bulbs? Well, without this bottom bulb, we're now going to have a 10 and a 5 in series. Since the total potential difference needs to get dropped at those bulbs, the potential difference that used to be there before now doesn't need to give anything. No potential drop needs to happen at the bottom bulb, so that's going to save more potential difference up here at bulb B and also for the parallel region. You're splitting the original potential difference two ways now instead of three. So we should expect that the brightness of the upper bulb will go up and the brightness of these other two bulbs in parallel would go up as well. Let's take a look. If you compare this picture to the original picture, you can see that the upper bulb has gotten brighter, and these two are dimmer than the brighter bulb, and they're equally bright as each other, but they're definitely dimmer than the uh, upper bulb. I hope these examples uh, have helped with bulb brightness, and you may need to watch the video more than once to think it out, but hopefully it helped.